everyone, it's Riken. I'm here at the Magnolia Regional with Team Fusion 364, who's been absolutely smoking it today with their actuating intake that can change size to intake both objects and their belt-driven elevator. We're gonna get a deeper dive. I'm here with Sean and Tristan on Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun is brought to you by our viewers, supporters, members, and also in partnership with the following. Earn up to a $5,000 sponsorship for your team or $2,000 individual prize when you provide a video submission to the Altair Global Student Contest at altair.com slash contest. You can build better robots faster with Altair tools and provide multiple video submissions for the contest. Download Altair tools for free. Scan the QR code or go to altair.com slash contest for further details. All right, so Sean, walk me through some of the mechanics of your robot and how your intake works. Yeah. So our intake is controlled by 10 pound gas shocks or two of them on each side. So whenever you put more than that kind of pressure on the, each side, they're open up. So basically whenever we have an algae in it, it'll open up this position to be able to hold it. And when that pressure is released, it'll go back to a certain position without any kind of manual control. Okay, can we see that intake working on algae and coal? Yeah. That's great. And let's switch to Tristan and he can tell us a little bit about some of the programming logic on this robot. All right, so one of our biggest challenges with uh, programming this robot was fine tuning all of our PID and our motion magic. Um, we actually have two motion magic profiles for our arm. One of them allows, uh, detects whether or not there's a coral, which we have a current limit for on the arm to detect that. Um, and whenever it's down, obviously it's heavier here, so we have a gravity constant, which we also have for the elevator motion magic. And that helps with things like obviously it has weight and that's a part of the process. So when we wanted things to get really precise, we uh, introduced these constants that give it that little bit of fine tuning it needs to get right where it wants. Um, another great thing we have is auto align with our limelight. We can line up for the reef and we can line up for the source, you know, make things easier for the driver and operator to work together better. Um, uh, we do custom print a lot of 3D printed parts. We have this piece here, which is a TPU limelight mount, and this gives it some flex to give it a little bit of adjustability in case something hits it, maybe another robot. That way we don't break the limelight. Instead, we just flex this little piece of printed, uh, printed TPU. We also have TPU wheels. Um, if, if you look down here, you can see the thread. Uh, we have our custom pattern here. It's very good for carpet. Um, got a lot of traction, high coefficient of friction. And then we also have a very, very good closed loop drive for our swerves, which is custom coded. Awesome. Can we get Sean over here and have him explain some of the elevator mechanics and how it's rigged? So uh, our elevator consists of a four stage built in tube elevator. So this elevator allows us to score very easily on like the bars, the low floor of the reef, while still being able to score on like the processor and the level one of the reef. Uh, we also have our gearbox integrated into our drive base. So say that we have a problem during a match or just at home, it is very easily accessible for the maintenance that we need to do on it. All right, great job guys. Good job Team Fusion. You guys have been absolutely smoking it today. Thank you. Keep working. You guys are doing great. Um, we're excited to see what you guys pull out for your next competition. This has been Behind the Bumpers at the Magnolia Regional. This is Riken signing off. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. Earn up to a $5,000 sponsorship for your team or $2,000 individual prize when you provide a video submission to the Altair Global Student Contest at altair.com slash contest. You can build better robots faster with Altair tools and provide multiple video submissions for the contest. Download Altair tools for free. Scan the QR code or go to altair.com slash contest for further details.